it's Amanda Green from Living a Simple Budget Family Life and I'm in the garage and it's late afternoon, the sun is going down and it's been a beautiful day. Um, I just wanted to quickly touch base with you about our caravan and where we are at. Unfortunately, there has been a couple of delays getting parts, so our appointment time has been put back uh, twice now, um, but I have been assured that on Thursday, and today's Tuesday, so only two more days, um, we are slotted in to get the chassis and the axles and the suspension axles and the suspension and the electronic brakes and everything done so I'm trying not to get excited because the last two times I was super excited and the tow truck didn't arrive and I rang and I'm like how come you're not here and they're like oh, the parts haven't come so they called me this afternoon and said Thursday is the day so I'm hoping fingers crossed um, it all happens so two days and then they will have it for uh, a full day possibly uh, two and we should then be able to start wiring and then rebuilding so um, the demolition has you know well and truly been completed um, I do have some footage of us installing the tow hitch and um, the jockey wheel uh, ready for the tow truck people and the mechanics to move around their workshop with a little bit more ease so I'm going to show you that and I just wanted to quickly I have what's it Bobby I just have broken down oh I have been using the time to break down our big stack of timber pallets that was here in the garage and we have 70 long boards here um, on my last lot of denailing here and then we have enough timber pallets to create the floor um, it's taken a lot of twisting uh, the hubby's arm to do a timber pallet floor um, but it's just something that I really really wanted to do so we're going to have to do some research into weather proofing the timber we live in termite country here so we're going to have to make sure we treat it appropriately so as you can see we've still got a big stack of pallets down the back for whatever we need the kitchen the bunk bed set up um, all of that sort of thing so yeah so just turning you around again, just to keep on spinning you. Um, so yeah, so I will show you now that you've seen our timber stack and that's what I've been working on the last couple of days is um, pulling all those pallets apart to have the decking sort of for the floor. So we at least are ready to go with that when we um, can, you know, I needed to keep busy and still sort of stay on track. So that's what I have been doing. And um, yeah, so I'm going to show you the tow hitch and the jockey wheel and just a little bit of uh, lead kicking out that front dint in the caravan. So that's what's been happening here. Cheers for watching. Today we are installing a brand new tow hitch which uh, was a, a purchase. Uh, uh, so we spent $120 on the tow hitch but you know it had to be done. And a jockey wheel. Now the jockey wheel was given to us. Hello Kayla. Hi. The jockey wheel was given to us uh, when we purchased the van because the previous owner had already um, <coughs> refurbished uh, and you know redid the internals of the jockey wheel. Now he's a mechanic and um, a reputable one, so we're going to trust that it's okay and um, yeah, it looks awesome. So we're installing that today, and Lee's in the process of grinding um, off the old bolts because they were 40 years old, 40 years worth of rust on there. Um, so they're not reusable um, and we're going to be getting some new bolts and installing the jockey wheel and tow hitch so we can take it to get the axle chassis brakes and all that sort of electronic mechanical stuff checked. So super exciting, a step in the right direction and a big step towards getting our first really big ticket item done and ticked off. So yeah, I'll show you the um, grinding off bolts of tow hitches and installing uh, jockey wheels today. Cheers! Okay, though, so for those of you that aren't familiar, the tow hitch or the coupling hitch is this part here, and this is the handbrake. So all of this is going to be removed, and the jockey wheel is going to be placed over there in its casing. So Lee is, yep, taking bolts and stuff out to remove the old tow hitch. Like I said to you, some of them uh, are really rusted through, um, and he has been having to grind off. Uh, the chops and stuff to get them out. Have you had to grind all of them up, babe? Oh, uh, except for one. Except for one. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'll uh, show you the project when it's done. Maybe get a bit of grind in action as well.
asking they're good and proper. Is that dirt or rust coming out with it, you reckon? Both. A bit of both? Is what 120 bucks of a brand spanking new tow hitch will get you. Looking fancy. Hello. Okay, so we've got the new tow hitch and jockey wheel in place. Obviously, bolts just need to be all tightened up. And once everything's painted with the rust kill, it'll all blend in beautifully. Hello, it's Karen from I live in such a budget family life and today I'm working on a caravan with Daddy and I'm helping Mummy and Daddy do the corner of the caravan. Do the corner of the caravan. And what are you doing? What are you taking out? I see you've taken out lots out of... taking out the screws. You're taking out the screws and the bolts with the... Yeah, doing a really good job of that. pushing and touching buttons. Watch this. What are we watching? Whoopsie. You're being such a big helper, aren't you, Kaylin? Mummy? Yes, Daddy. I'm just doing a video here of Kaylin and then I'll take him out of the car. Karen's just showing YouTube how she's getting this screw out. She's doing such a good job. And you're using your fingers to get the last of it. Excellent work. And you've taken all of them out all by yourself, all that side so far. Good job, Kaylin. Kaylin, can I get a wave? 61, Mummy. It's 61. Are you doing some measuring? It wasn't recording. Go again. Well, I'll do this one and you, you're gonna, you gotta go. How are you going there, Kayla? I'm going measuring. You're doing some measuring. How are you going, Boo Lou? Using all your muscles. Kayla, can you hear me? My hands are <laughs> Are you going? Kaylin has nearly finished putting, getting all the screws off this panel. This there, extra yeah, panel is going to be able to come up. And we can uh, assess the damage underneath and deal with it appropriately. And look what Kaylin's done. She's managed to get that panel off. And I still got one more, still got one more screw to go. And that is the dent we are dealing with. Here is my little strong-willed child making sure that every last screw is out of the panel and as you can see we've flattened it out. We might be able to salvage it for uh, filling some uh, spots or something. Careful Bobby, it might be sharp. Good work Kaylin. Okay. And we are attempting to see if we can make some movement happening in this corner with the... No, I'm going to go get my boots on. Okay, so my big muscly manly man in his safety gear and boots is going to use his muscle power to attempt to push out the ding. We're going to give this a go first and uh, take it from there. Love your boots, babe. 